With the new season, Rampart is seeing increasing amounts of play. This is because of us sort of heading into a build meta, along with Rampart receiving pretty big buffs in Apex Legends Season 13 to make her even more viable. She's one of the best legends to set up with and hold an angle or power position, and her ultimate Sheila packs a surprising punch that destroys doors and melts enemies. Rampart's pick rate has doubled in the previous season, going from being the least picked legend to the 12th most common legend, and odds are that she will continue seeing more play as people realize how strong she can be in the right hands. So how does her kit work? Rampart's passive mod loader gives Rampart increased magazine capacity and a faster reload when using LMGs and Sheila, as well as a higher heat capacity and faster recharges when she's using energy weapons like the L-Star. Specifically, you reload 25% faster and your magazine size is increased by 15%. This effect stacks with the ammo increase of magazine attachments and the reload time decreases from the standard stocks. Even better, this effect stacks with the splatter rounds which you get from the crafted weapons on Big Mod, giving you lightning speed reloads. Her Tactical Amped Cover is the base of her kit, which allows Rampart to deploy a full cover amped wall that blocks incoming shots and amplifies the damage of the outgoing shots. The deployment of the wall takes 3.6 seconds, during which the base of the wall has 120 health. Once it's fully deployed, the base will have 400 health and will also extend a barrier that amplifies the bullets, and this barrier has 175 health. If the barrier is destroyed, the base will stay intact, but if the base is destroyed, the barrier will go down with it. The amp barrier's health is displayed through 7 hexagons, with each one being worth 25 health. The amped barrier blocks enemy fire and will boost outgoing damage by 20%. If you try to stack the barriers, it would only boost the damage once and break the other energy barriers. If you want to set up several layers of covers for one angle, I suggest layering them where you can step backwards or to the side if the first cover is broken so you don't have to redeploy if your first amped barrier is destroyed. Thanks to its fast deployment and instant cover, you can use Rampart's cover to peek wide and unconventional angles. If you and your team are being pushed, you can instantly pop one or three amped covers to block off the attacker's angle quickly deploying in a few seconds with surprising damage. You can also use Rampart's cover to seal off doors and make them near impossible to go through without first kicking the door open and then breaking the amp barrier, all while being exposed to you standing on the other side. The amp barrier can also let you climb higher than you normally would be able to by climbing on top of the base of the deployed wall, giving you an unexpected mobility advantage. If you're taking a fight in the open, consider dropping one or two amped covers behind you as you work the angles. This will act as a cover you can fall back to if you take too much damage or if the enemy team starts pushing you, forcing them to either break the cover and take amp damage from you or to fall back. It is always good to have the option. On the other hand, if you're holding a position, especially inside of a building, you can quickly deploy the cover to tank the incoming damage for something like a grenade or Gibraltar's bombardment. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp, in honor of Mental Awareness Month. May is the month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigma, and provide support to anyone who might be struggling with their mental health. This year's theme is Together for Mental Health where we share our personal stories in hopes to encourage others to prioritize their mental health. If you have been following me for a while, you probably know that I've been going to therapy for about half a year now to deal with the stress that comes with the hectic content creator life. Believe me or not, it's not all roses and, and just to improve my overall mental health. You don't need to be in a bad place to seek therapy and I consider it invaluable to improve yourself or just as a way to vent and reset on a regular basis. Another big theme in Mental Health Month is advocating for access to mental health care, which has been one of better help's goals for a long time. They offer customized online therapy, which includes video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you can be comfortable in your space and not need to see or talk to the therapist if you don't want to. BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional online therapy, and if you live in the US, you can even apply for financial aid during the sign-up process, and they accept HSA benefits. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's over 20,000 therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. All you have to do when getting started is fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule secure video and phone sessions, plus you can exchange unlimited messages and everything that you share is completely confidential. One thing that I learned when working with Tom is the strength of removing yourself from an emotional situation and rationally discussing it later at an agreed time to solve the problem in a collaborative way. If you don't feel like your therapist is a good fit, you can request a new therapist anytime for no additional charge. In this Mental Health Month, if you or someone you know is struggling, please share BetterHelp with them. You can use my link to get 10% off of your first month. I've also put that link in the description. The 20% damage boost is enough to turn any weapon lethal, but more specifically, it will turn a recently nerfed Kraber a lot more dangerous, as well as turning a charged Sentinel into a mini Kraber. Headshotting an enemy with a Kraber through the amped barrier will ensure that enemies who would have been left with 1 HP would now go down instantly. Rampart can have 5 amped covers placed at a time, including covers where the energy shield has been destroyed, 
If you place an amped cover after going over your limits, your oldest one will disappear. You can hold free charges of the amped wall at all times, recharging another shield charge every 20 seconds. You can also pick up non-damaged cover again to restore one charge by pressing the utility action key, default H on keyboard. It's important to pick them up before you want to push into a team since you want to avoid enemies from taking your placements from behind you and using the amped covers against you. You can also quickly pick up the covers after blocking a door if you need to pass through it. However, the amped cover does have a weakness. The cover can instantly be destroyed by Crypto's EMP, it takes 50% more damage from Arc Stars, and can get destroyed from just two melee hits. Always remember that while your barrier can be destroyed, the bottom portion of the wall still works fine as a cover and will protect you for 400 damage, which most teams won't bother to destroy. If you're crouching behind the cover, make sure to look down to stop the top of your character model's head from sticking out. The amped barriers can be combined with her ultimate Sheila for a devastating effect, allowing you to surprise your enemies with an insane damage output and you can clear upwards to a whole team with one spray. Activating her ultimate brings out the mobile minigun Sheila, which has a single high capacity magazine of 173 rounds and can be placed to become a stationary turret for anyone to use. If you empty the magazine when mobile, it can be either placed as a turret or holstered again. You can actually refresh the mobile Sheila by either placing it or pressing the toggle fire mode button, which will put the ultimate back on cooldown but with a refund of up to 75% depending on the percentage of unused ammo, unless Sheila was never fired. The minigun needs to spin up for 1.25 seconds before it can be fired. The gun can be spun up by holding the aim down sight button and as long as the barrels keep spinning, you can fire immediately. Spinning up the Sheila makes a noise sends out a red laser beam to where the Sheila is being pointed at. Because of this, you'll never want to pre-aim where the enemy can see your beam. Instead, try to spin up your minigun while aiming at a wall or the ground near you to then flick onto the enemy once they reveal themselves. The Sheila also comes with a zoom ability. You can toggle this by pressing the sprint button. When you are mobile, this will zoom in by almost 2x, and if the Sheila is placed, it will instead zoom in 3 times. Zooming in will deploy a built-in holosight, which will also tell you how far away you are from the target, much like a sniper scope. Sheila does 14 damage per round at 20 rounds per second with a 2x headshot multiplier. The accuracy is initially poor, but will improve as you're spinning up. This is the weapon with the highest damage per second in the game and needs to be respected. This comes at a cost, however. You are significantly slowed when spinning up the Sheila when mobile, and you are stationary when using the Sheila if it's placed. So be careful about taking 1v1s without being ready to fire or behind cover. Always make sure to place amped covers next to Sheila when placing it so you don't get picked off when using it. You can still use the normal weapon switch to hold the Sheila. This will remember your ammunition without putting the ultimate back on cooldown, allowing you to use Sheila as sort of a third weapon. You can switch between mobile and placement mode by pressing the utility action key, which is once again default H on keyboard. When placed, Sheila has 350 health, a magazine size of 175 for Rampart, while 150 for everyone else, and infinite reserve ammo. Rampart can destroy the Sheila by pressing the utility action key, but no ultimate charge will be refunded. Sheila takes two minutes to recharge, which is pretty fast. Make sure to refund the ultimate when fights are over, so you are fully reloaded for the next one. Rampart wants to play centrally in team fights, either towards the middle or the back of the team. Ramparts usually play defensively and aim to set up and predict what the enemy team will do, but some can play on the front lines to apply pressure and take space by moving shields forward and adding amped covers. This comes down to your own and your team's playstyle. Make sure to have covers available to fall back behind, especially if a teammate goes down so you can reset. I'd argue that you don't want to set up the Sheila unless you're staying in one position for a long time, since you rarely will get to use it in stationary mode other than zoning enemies out of your immediate area. When it comes to her loadout, Rampart wants to make the most out of her passive and either use an LMG, like the Spitfire, which recently came back to ground loot, or the Elt Star, which has faster damage and control, and doesn't take as long to recharge in addition for higher heat capacity thanks to the modded loader passive. As for a secondary, you can either run a shotgun or a sniper depending on what playstyle you want to go for. You can combine a long range weapon with your amped cover to get more damage per shot and poke enemy teams without risking taking damage yourself. But amped shotguns are a really strong way to turn a fight on its head. Her abilities can be used in countless ways and is near impossible to fit it all in just one guide, so I'm hoping you will go in-game and experiment to figure out what works best for you. If you want to see how I run Rampart, check out the video on the screen where I dropped a 20-bomb wither. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.